So, now let us discuss the Nobel Prize 2025. The Nobel Prize have been recently announced in six categories. So, it is an important area from where questions can be asked in UPSC prelims and various other competitive exams. So, in how much detail we should know about these prizes or kis kis ko mila hai, kis wajah se mila hai. So, now let us have a look. The Nobel Prizes are given because of Alfred Nobel. In ki bill mein is prizes ko institute karne ki baat kahi gai thi, is lehen ko rakha gaya hai. And Alfred Nobel is known for the invention of dynamite, the explosive dynamite. So, yes, originally five categories mein Nobel Prizes diye jate hain, lekin baad mein ek aur category ko add kiya gaya. So, that is the economics prize, otherwise physics, chemistry, medicine, literature and peace. These were the original five categories and later on from 1969 onwards, the category of economic sciences has also been added. So, now let us look at uh, the Nobel Prize winners of 2025 and generally in exam question hame kaisa poocha jata hai. So, question is generally asked about ki kis cheez ke liye mila hai. Very rarely we will be asked about the name of scientists, but it also depends. For example, ki Nobel Peace Prize the name of the individual or the organization will be asked, but for generally Nobel Prize in Physics, Chemistry and Medicine mostly it is asked ki kis area mein research ke liye ye mila hai. So, now Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, it has been given to three scientists, Mary Bronco, Frederick Ramstill and Shimon Shakaguchi. The prize in medicine has been given for the discovery of regulatory T cells. Abhi regulatory T cells we should remember or regulatory T cells are connected with our immune system. The immune system of our body protects us from various infections, but the T regulatory cells or the regulatory T cells, they help the immune system in identifying that they should not be attacking the healthy body cells. So, let us see, these scientists have discovered how the immune system protects our body from attacking itself. Yani ki ek term use kiya gaya hai ki immune mutiny se bachata hai Yani ki immune system jo hamari body ka hai, wo hamare hi khilaf na ho jai. Is se hume bacha raha hai regulatory T cells. So, regulatory T cells, they stop the immune system from harming body's healthy cells. Or in T cells ko regulate kaun kar raha hai? The Fox P3 genes. The Fox P3 gene controls the regulatory T cells. This is the discovery for which the Nobel Prize for Medicine or Physiology has been given. Ab aajate hai hum next Nobel Prize mein. So, Nobel Prize for Medicine mein hume kya yaad rakhna hai? Ki isko diya gaya hai for the discovery of regulatory T cells which are regulated by the Fox P3 genes aur ye basically हमारे immune system को ये बताता है कि it should not be attacking the healthy body cells, right? अब आ जाते हैं Nobel Prize in Physics. This has been given to John Clark, Mike Michel Devoret and John Martinez. और ये जो physics का Nobel है, it has been given for a phenomenon which is known as quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling. Now, this phenomenon of quantum tunneling is very interesting. Suppose this is an obstacle. Now, normally, ye obstacle hoga, to jo classical physics says ki if this is a ball, it will have to have sufficient energy or force to climb over this obstacle, then only it can cross it. But in case of quantum particles or quantum mechanics, there is a phenomenon called quantum tunneling which ensures that the quantum particle can actually pass through that obstacle. So, ye pass ho jate hai us obstacle se. 
now this was possible in the case of quantum or subatomic particles is bar ka jo nobel prize physics mein diya gaya hai wo isliye diya gaya hai because the scientists have been able to show that quantum tunneling is not just for quantum particles or subatomic particles but it can also be observed at macroscopic level right under certain conditions ab iska implication ya application kahan hoga to make quantum computers so it has a great application in making of quantum computers jo ki abhi tak realize nahi hue because there are certain challenges with that but yes it is going to help in that so we need to remember ki nobel prize in physics has been given for the discovery of quantum tunneling at macroscopic level to ye term yaad rakhna hai quantum tunneling at macroscopic level now we come to nobel prize in chemistry nobel prize in chemistry has again been given to three scientists susuming kitagawa richard robson omar yagi and incidentally mr omar yagi uh, is a palestinian right so because of the israel palestine issue this was also in news that uh, mr yagi has uh, received the nobel prize for chemistry and he comes from palestine anyways jo nobel prize for chemistry diya gaya hai that has been given for the discovery of a material called metal organic frameworks right metal organic frameworks and they also have a very important application now mof ko aap ye samajhiye jo metal organic frameworks hain they are like special sponges स्पॉन्ज की तरीके से होते हैं ये आइटम्स एंड दे हैव अ वेरी हाई सरफेस एरिया एंड पोरोसिटी व्हिच मेक्स देम वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर सर्टेन एप्लीकेशंस व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशंस सो वी कैन सी दैट देयर हाई पोरोसिटी ऑफ मेटल ऑर्गेनिक फ्रेमवर्क्स इट अलाउज फॉर इफिशिएंट स्टोरेज एंड देयर एडजस्टेबल पोर्स और एडजस्टेबल पोर साइजेस enables the separation of gases right to jo unka surface area hai porosity hai and the variable pore sizes it helps in the separation of gases which is helpful in carbon capture like capturing of carbon dioxide etc to jo atmosphere mein global warming ho rahi hai yani ki climate change mein it can play a very important role now these mofs metal organic frameworks can also capture water from dry desert air and help the people in such dry areas uh, by providing them water to ye bhi ek important application hai of metal organic frameworks to metal organic frameworks mein jo cheez humko yaad rakhni hai ki chemistry ka nobel has been given for the discovery of metal organic frameworks these are special materials which have high surface area and they have very high porosity right which makes them useful for certain applications applications for uh, cl fighting climate change and also for various other applications right clean water etc now we come to the nobel prize for literature nobel prize for literature has been given to a hungarian author laszlo kras nahorkai राइट right. तो ये हंगेरियन ऑथर है एंड इट हैज बीन गिवन टू हिम फॉर विजनरी राइटिंग व्हिच एक्सप्लोर्स थीम्स ऑफ डिस्पेयर एंड केओस नाउ हियर वी शुड रिमेंबर वन थिंग दैट द फर्स्ट इंडियन टू रिसीव नोबेल प्राइज वाज आल्सो इन द फील्ड ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड ही वाज नन अदर देन श्री रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर इन 1913 तो 1913 में गीतांजलि के लिए रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर जी को मिला नोबेल prize for literature he is the first indian to receive it next and very important nobel is the nobel prize for peace now nobel prize for peace has been given to the venezuelan leader miss maria corina macado and she has been fighting or struggling against the government of nicolas maduro who is the president of venezuela so peace prize इनको मिला है मिस मारिया कोरिना मकाडो नाउ द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स मिस्टर डोनाल्ड ट्रंप वाज एक्टिवली ट्राइंग फॉर गेटिंग द नोबेल पीस प्राइज बट अल्टीमेटली द नोबेल कमिटी हैज गिवन द पीस प्राइज टू 
Miss Maria Corina Macado. Or important thing to note here about the Nobel Peace Prize is ki baki sare jo Nobel Prizes hain, they are given in Stockholm, Sweden, but it is only the Nobel Peace Prize which is given in Oslo, Norway and it is given by the Norwegian Nobel Committee which is set up by the Norwegian Parliament. The Norwegian Parliament sets up the Norwegian Nobel Committee, which decides on the name for Nobel Peace Prize, right? Or ye Oslo me diya jata hai. Now we come to the last Nobel Prize, which is the Nobel Prize for Economic Sciences. Now this is not one of the original Nobel Prizes. Nobel Prizes jo originally Alfred Nobel ki will say decide who the five categories me the physics, chemistry, uh, medicine, literature and peace. This prize has been added, the Nobel Prize for Economics, it has been added by the Sveriges Riks Bank of uh, Sweden in memory of Alfred Nobel and it is known as the Nobel Prize for Economic Sciences. Now this has been given to again three people, Joel Mokir and Philippi Aguillon and Peter Hobbit. Basically, the Nobel Prize for Economics has been given, it is, it has been given for explaining how the economic growth happens because of innovation and how new ideas and inventions drive the economic growth in various economies, right. So, basic idea is about this uh, Nobel Prize for Economic Sciences is that innovation drives economic growth. And if there will not be any innovation, then economic stagnation will happen. Now, out of these three Nobel Prize winners for economic sciences, Mr. Philip Aguillon and Peter Hobbit, they have also given a creative destruction theory, which says that the new ideas and products replace the old ones, which help the economic growth. So, this concept of creative destruction has also been given and maybe an exam, it can be asked that Nobel Peace, uh, Nobel Prize for Economics has been given for what? And if one of the options is creative destruction, then that will be the right option, okay. So, innovation ke liye diya gaya hai ki innovation drives economic growth and creative destruction is a term also that we should remember. Now, we have seen all the five Nobel Prizes. So, agar we have to sum up or summarize, then what we need to remember from exam point of view. The Nobel Prize for Physics, it is for a phenomenon called quantum tunneling at macroscopic level. For this it has been given. If we look at Nobel Prize for Chemistry, then it is for the discovery of metal organic frameworks, metal organic frameworks, MOFs, which are very useful materials and which have high surface area and high porosity, right, which makes them useful. The Nobel Prize for medicine has been given for regulatory T cells and Fox P3 gene, right. It is connected with our immune system. The Nobel Prize for Literature has been given to the Hungarian author. His name is a little bit difficult to remember. His name is Laszlo, right. So, we can remember just Laszlo. Laszlo. Mr. Laszlo has got the Nobel Prize for Literature, Hungarian author and the Nobel Prize for Peace. This is for Maria Corina Makado. 
right, Maria Corina Machado, the last one, the Nobel Prize for Economics, this has been given to for creative destruction or innovation driving economic growth. innovation drives economic growth, right. So, see this is what we need to remember from exam point of view. If you are able to remember this information, then mostly the question asked on Nobel prizes you will be able to do it, right. Now, one final thing that we need to know about Nobel prizes is it was uh, instituted by Mr. Alfred Nobel who is uh, the inventor of dynamite. The first awards we are given from 1901, originally five categories were there, physics, chemistry, medicine, literature and peace or finally, in 1968 another category the sixth category was added which is the Swarix Riksbank Prize for Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel, right. Lastly, how many Indians or people of Indian origin have received the Nobel Prize? So, I already told you that. Uh, Ravindra Tagoreji in 1913 for Gitanjali literature, then in 1930 C. V. Raman for physics and Raman effect which is about scattering of light. In 1968 Mr. Hargobind Khurana, but he was not an Indian citizen, but Indian by birth. So, he got a Nobel in medicine and for interpretation of the genetic code and its function in protein synthesis that is genetics, he got it for genetics. In 1979, Mother Teresa, now Mother Teresa was not born in India, but when she received the prize, she was an Indian citizen, right. She was born in Skopje, present day North Macedonia and she got the prize for peace, Nobel Prize for peace and she worked uh, for the poor through her charity organization, Missionaries of Charity. In 1983, Mr. Subramaniam Chandrasekhar got the Nobel Prize for Physics for work on evolution of stars. Again, he was born in India, but not a Indian citizen when he received the prize. In 1998, Amartya Sen for economics, for his contribution to welfare economics, Indian citizen. Then in 2009, Venkat Raman Ramakrishnan for chemistry, again not a Indian citizen, but Indian by birth for studies of structure and functions of the ribosome. Then in 2014, Kailash Satyarthi for peace, he shared this prize with Malala Yousafzai of Pakistan, who is incidentally is the youngest uh, Nobel Prize winner at 17 years of age. Now, he received this for his uh, continuous struggle against child labor through his organization, which is known as Bachpan Bachao Andolan, Bachpan Bachao Andolan, BBA. And in 2019, Abhijit Banerjee uh, got the prize for economics and for his experimental approach to alleviating global poverty, right. So, these are the Nobel Prize winners. Out of these five were Indian citizen when they received the prize, rest of the four people were born in India, but they received the prize when they were citizen of some other country, right. So, this is it for the Nobel Prize 2025. Thank you.